Hey everybody, Ann here. I'm in the tiny house just taking a break. I wasn't even going to do a video today, so I'm way beyond coffee. I'm having my peppermint and lemon balm tea, and it is delicious. Do you ever get tired of me saying that? It's so delicious. Anyhow, um, I wasn't going to do a video, but you know what? Some cool things are happening, and so I, I just, I got to share it with you. I want to show you guys something, because this is new. Um... There are, can you see all of those little things, little round things? They look like they have jelly in them. Those are frog eggs. There are more frogs that are going to be hatching out. Little tadpoles. Got them all over here. They go all the way over there. And... We've got a few more over here, and a few more over there, too. I just think that's cool. Yeah. Before long, we'll be able to see little things swimming. Oh, shoot. I just ruined one. Uh, don't touch them. They're gooey, and they come apart very easily. Sorry, Froggy. Oh, well, there's a ton more of them. Look at there's a whole big ton of them eating off of that decaying poplar um, flower thing. Yep, they eat plants, they eat algae, they eat uh, all kinds of stuff. This is, this is really fun for me, you guys. First, remember those beans I planted down in this soil here in this bed? Well, aside from, it looks like they're getting eaten by uh, some bugs. I need to figure that out. They are really growing very well. I am I am totally surprised. And the three that I planted in this bed are also growing. Yeah, this one looks like it's been chewed on a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to have to spray them down with something or figure out what's trying to eat them. Um, I haven't examined them closely enough yet. But they are growing in this clay soil. So I have made two more mounds one here and I've made this one a little bit different than that one and so I mean no actually that one is pretty much the same yeah um, I just mixed it all the clay soil with the rabbit droppings and the um, pine shavings so I haven't planted anything in that yet but I'm going to and then I did make this one and I did put some garden soil in there and uh, I mixed it all together except for the, the garden soil that's on top. And I have planted cucumbers in there. So we'll see if that one works out. Uh, I haven't planted in this one yet. And I did this one even a little bit differently. Um, instead of mixing it all together, I just roughed up the ground, got the weeds out, and um, put the rabbit droppings with the bedding uh, one layer, put some clay down, some soil, uh, put another layer of the droppings and pine shavings and then covered up with more soil. The only thing is that doesn't have wood ash. Um, that might have a little wood ash. This does not have any wood ash. So this is all an experiment to see what I can grow. So now I just have to decide what I'm going to plant in that one and what I'm going to plant in that one. Look at this beautiful strawberry. Yep, it's just about ripe, and what I do with these is I will take them off and give them to Beauty, and now the baby chicks too. I've got a couple more that are coming on. Not a whole lot of strawberries, but at least they're growing. Oh, and I did um, go ahead and plant some chocolate mint, kind of like runners with roots on them down in there, and they are starting to kind of take off. I'm about to plant beans, but something I noticed with this corn, initially I was just pinching off the tops, but the corn kept growing back. So I actually had to pull it out by the roots, anywhere where there was more than one. Yeah, see, there's a whole bunch of them. So yeah, corn is pretty hardy. But now it's time to plant the beans. I'm going to plant peas here. I may be making a mistake. I don't know if I'll get them because it's kind of warming up. I'm going to plant these pole beans, Kentucky Blue, in this bed. And in this bed, I'm going to plant, because I haven't planted any of these yet, 
Blue Leg Heirloom Pole Beans. So, hopefully this whole scheme will work out. I've moved the stakes from behind the corn to exactly where I'm going to plant the peas. And I think I'm going to put like one, me three, three seeds in each one and just cover them up. That way I'll know exactly where I put the peas. All right, let me just get this done. And same with the beans. One, two, three. Right on. And it is done all three garden beds. So, a couple weeks after they all sprout up, hopefully if they sprout, I will plant the squash. What do you guys think? Think it'll work? Everything else is just looking really amazing. Except for this bed. And the jumbo jalapeno peppers are starting to catch up a little bit. I think it'll be okay. I just need to give them more time. And last but not least, I got one more thing I want to do today. I took three of the patty pan squash out of the tomato bed that my mom planted because there's just too much going on in there. Those tomatoes are getting so big and there's beans in there. So I planted one patty pan squash there. Remember, that's the cucumbers. And then I planted two in this these mounds. And I wanted to kind of plant the same things in that mound and that mound over there just to see which method works better. Um, and if both fail, then I'll know I need to do something else next year. But I think that that is it for me for today as far as planting. Would you look at that? That's a volunteer dill. Yeah, one of the seeds must have fallen down. And it is growing in pure clay soil. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let this uh, keep going. Maybe I'll have some dill. It's so funny because I was gonna plant some dill. Yeah, that's awesome. It was fun digging in the dirt today. That's about all I did, aside from my normal stuff that I gotta do from day to day. Papa's been a good boy. The baby chicks are doing great. The rabbits are growing and the rest of the chickens are free ranging. They love it. And they're all laying eggs, so I don't know. I think uh, things are going pretty good around here. So let's just keep this one short. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.